You often hear that we can electrify cars, but that cleaning up ships will be far more difficult. But a proof of concept is already sailing around the world. A French research vessel dubbed the Energy Observer logged nearly 11,000 nautical miles in 2020, entirely propelled by renewable energy captured on board. We are just arriving in, uh, in uh, California for only two weeks. We'll be there in Long Beach and then in San Francisco, then we go to Hawaii and Tokyo for the Olympics. The 100-foot former racing yacht is now plastered with solar panels that fill up batteries and tanks of pressurized hydrogen. The ship travels on good old-fashioned wind power as well as an electric motor fed by batteries or the hydrogen fuel cells. The benefit is that if you mix the cultures, uh, energies, renewables, at the end of the story you can be fully autonomous. So we just want to showcase that the technology is there, it's quite easy, it's not always very sexy solar panels, but it works so fine, it's very reliable, very simple, and now it is affordable too, so do it. There is a catch. The ship can power itself sustainably at a speed of about six knots, but that's more typical of a sailboat. Well, we're not very fast, but we can go anywhere we want uh, with no limits. If it wants to keep up with a combustion-powered ship, it'll run out of fuel reserves faster than it replenishes them. You never run out of fuel on, on your never, journey around the world? Never, never, never. You, you, you just adapt your consumption to what you have, you know? And uh, if you have a lot of energy, you can go fast and spend a lot of espressos and, and, and heater and washing machine. If you run a little bit you know, short of energy, you just slow down your, your, your consumption and everything will be fine. Energy Observer proposes a different vision for sea travel, one where you never have to find a port to fuel up in because you make your own fuel, and a sailing experience without the familiar stench of fumes and clanking of combustion engines intruding on the sea breeze and nautical vistas.